Sylvia and I are just sitting here. We were having a little discussion, and she understands that until she can go back outside, as long as she's inside, she's going to need diapers. So what I've done is I've taken some of my blankies that I bought her, and I folded it about, give or take a quarter of the way, and I cut um, these these pieces off. So. I think, I'm just kind of developing these, but what I think I'm going to do is cut them again here so this would make four diapers. And um, there will be a slit for her tail feathers to go in, and it'll just kind of come up over her back, kind of slightly. And then I'm going to put some elastic here, and I'll put some elastic here. This piece will go underneath her, and then the elastic will wrap around her wings, but not tightly. The, the masks I were using were just too tight for me to feel comfortable leaving it on her. So I have a spool of elastic, which you can get at Walmart for like 10 bucks, maybe 15. It's quite a bit. And, um, you know, I'm going to make them long enough so that they'll go around her wings comfortably and they're not going to uh, cut off her circulation or hurt her. And all, literally all I'm going to do is just take a pair of scissors and cut holes in it. And then later down the line, I may do a little stitch on the sides to keep it a little bit more closed around her, her bottom. But um, they'll be really super easy to clean. Just um, what I do because it's so stinky is I'll dump the poop in a, a baggie, like a store bag, and I'll keep a store bag of <laughs> poop outside that I can keep putting more in until it's about you know, halfway filled and then it goes directly out to the outside trash because turkey poop is stinky so you want to keep it clean. In the meantime, these can be pretty crusty and pretty dirty and you just throw them in your uh, washer machine with bleach and they come out clean. All of these I throw in with bleach because turkey poop, you know, you don't want to mess with you and make sure everything stays really clean. So I'm going to go get working on that and uh, I'll show you the progress. Well, I will show you how I am cutting these. Um, so here's my my piece, and I've you know kind of folded it in half, a little bit more longer on the one side because of that corner curve. So what I do is I just fold it. Honestly, I don't even measure or anything. And then I stick the scissors. I don't know if you can see this. My foot's holding my phone. In the slit. Do you see that? Like that. And I pull it against the scissor as I go. Okay. So you pull it. If you keep it tight and just pull it tight, you'll get a relatively straight line. Now I have two more diapers, and, and they are bigger than the masks, so that's good because sometimes she would poop and it would go right through the mask. So now I'm going to go on to putting on my, um, my part that's going to attach to Miss Sylvia. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't know if I could do this because she's going to start flopping around, but um, if I, the minute I get closer, I see she. Don't panic. Yeah, it's gonna ride. No, you're fine. So I just want to take a basic measurement. What I'm doing is I'm unraveling my my thread. Yeah, you're all right. All right, I'm gonna try to measure this. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Okay. Okay. So, I see that on one side I need it approximately this long, so I'm just gonna fold it over and double it, okay? And then once, once I attach the string, I'll be able to adjust it. So we know that we need it at least as long as this. <laughs> Sorry guys, doing the best I can. The next step here is I have to decide how much I want this to go over her back. And I'm thinking this might be good 
and then I'll put a, a hole here I'm gonna cut with my scissors um, for her tail feathers which basically is gonna be a little bird mouth cut so I can get in there a slit and then slide it through and we're just gonna cut almost to the other side but not quite because you you want enough room okay can you see for the tail feathers to get comfortably get through here okay so now now I'm going to put a hole here which is going to look like so what I do is I dog ear it in the corner see that take the corner and just kind of put it in like so and then bird's mouth cut the point on this isn't very sharp so I'm going to move it down and do that see and you only needed enough to put your um, elastic in I'm going to do the same over here. I'm basically doing it on each each corner. Oops, that was kind of big. Whoopsie. And then the only purpose for folding it is to make it easier to cut a hole. And you want to you want to grab both sides. I don't know if you can see this, but grab both sides and pull. There, make it a wee bit easier. Okay? And so where do I put my first string here? The next step is to um, attach the, the string. So I'm going to just feed it through the holes like that. And I'm just going to, I like to put the two ends together like this. See? And then wrap it around your finger. Oops. And make a decent knot. Now, I don't know, you know, when I'm ready to adjust it, I'll be able to adjust them shorter. But basically, this is going to go over the tail like that. This is going to come underneath her. The bottom part will come underneath her. And this double piece, this is going to go around, this is going to go around her wings like that. Okay? So I'm going to put the other one on, then I'll show you as we put this on here so um this is my finished diaper forgive me i'm trying not to get in this video i look hideous as usual but um this is the part that's going to go over her tail so i just kind of cuff it like that you know and then put her tail feathers together like that and then Yes, I know. You're okay. You got a girl. And you double them like that. And, you know, right now I'm just seeing how they fit. And then she's got a little part of her wing here. I know. I know. I'm just tucking it right here. See? Yeah. Oh, Miss Sal. Let me have this side. Oh, I know. Shh, shh, shh. We'll put you down like that. Okay. There we go. Miss Sill. See? All right. Oh, that goes good. So, um, what I might do down the line is stitch it. Now, I don't know if you can see that it's definitely covering her butt. And I will say, yes, honey. Yeah, one tail, one uh, wing feather in the way. That, um, you know, it's a little floppy, but I can sew that. This is a first prototype. It's super loose here, so it's not going to cut off her circulation. But it is going to help keep that in place. So, um, I kind of want to... Yeah, I know. It is loose. I'm sorry, sweet pea. Come on. There. Let's see. There. Okay. So. I don't know if you could see. What I'll do is I'll sew the sides later, but for right now I know that this works. See? Her tail feathers are comfortably loose. 
and the butt. Where's your butt? The butt is, is covered. So I'm going to put her in her chair for today. And uh, we'll see how she does. <laughs> She's happily in her chair eating. I just want to take a peek at her diaper. Mm -hmm. So comfy, Nizzy. You can see <laughs> that diaper is staying on even though she's fluttering about. And uh, she, there's a hole. I built this so there's a hole here and her tail feathers can comfortably come through. And you can see the top where it just sits across the bed. It's super loose, but, um, you know, it's covering her where it needs to be covering. <laughs> so uh, we'll wait for the first daily mess and see how it goes. In the meantime, I'm gonna go make a couple more and, uh, whew, man, I gotta exercise. Um, make a couple more and uh, hopefully this will work well. Thanks guys. She does have her diaper on her. She is comfortable. What's cool is it's kind of hidden in her feathers. But it is on. Yay. And she's comfortably eating and drinking. And puts her feet down when she wants. But what I discovered is the um that bar uh piece of wood going across, she loves to put her feet up on it. At a girl, she like she's actually pushing with the one foot. See that foot? She likes to push with it. See it? Oh, there's my finger. There's her foot. No matter how many times I take it out, she puts her foot right back there. But she uses it to push, and I'm, I'm like, okay, as long as she's using her feet and her legs. And today she actually got herself, um, sitting up. You know. Kind of with her, the the bottom part of her legs up in the air, and she was like on her. I don't know what you call them. You are you are not gonna fly south, Missy. <laughs> yes. So I'll put her foot back down. Yeah, and get your foot back down, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there it is, and she'll just put it right back up there. Yes, you goofy girl. Yeah, but see, she can touch the ground. Oh, you're just making a splashy mess. Oh, where are you going? You're pumping those wings? Oh, my gosh. All right. So I'm going to sit her a little bit lower. I don't want her taking herself out of her seat, but I'm going to just lower it a little bit. Anyway, so she's doing really good. As you can see, she has huge energy. Huge energy, eating, drinking, pooping well. Very well. Keep you posted. Well, I just uh, took off Miss Sylvie's diaper, um, and it held it in very well. I just want to show you not to be gross. Worked quite well, and all I do is dump it <laughs> in the bag, and this bag goes outside, and now this goes in the dirty clothes. So see, it worked. Excellent, and I got her, um, her new one is on her. Hello, my carousel horse. I am not done decorating yet, so do not judge. <laughs> I gotta take the fall stuff down. Anyway, so she has her other diaper on her. It was an extremely easy switch um, from one to the other, so we are good. <laughs> 